Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a chicha video and uh, I hope that you're going to take something from it. Um, I've been thinking of doing this video for the longest time and I want it to be in the right, you know, headspace <laughs> to make the video, but I knew that I needed to share, you know, with you guys because this is like a platform where I like to, you know, discuss about everything life throws at us whether good or bad and uh, I don't like to have like a negative kind of atmosphere on my channel but I also feel like um, it's not all about sharing the highlights of our lives we so it's also good to share like any type of experience that makes us stronger and hopefully this will hopefully help people out there who are going through the same thing or who will probably go through the similar thing and uh, it might help them to deal with it better. Like I told you in my previous videos, a lot has happened and the main thing that happened a couple of months ago in September was the fact that I lost my mum and um, I've been through quite a lot of things in my life but I have to say Sorry about the noise, guys. Um, I have to say that this is literally the worst situation I found myself in. And um, if you have a really good relationship with your mom, uh, you will probably understand, and or maybe not, because obviously if you haven't been through that. But um, I don't even know um, how I'm able to sit down and talk about it. But it makes me kind of know more about myself. I don't always show my emotions. People can't read me sometimes. They, they, they wouldn't know what I'm going through. I'm still dealing with the grief and I feel like it's going to take a long time, longer than what I thought it would take. And um, yeah, yeah. People deal with grief very differently. And uh, uh, for me, uh, I've decided to just deal with it in a private way as possible or open up to people that are really close to me and uh, just talk about it a bit in more details but just so far I've only been sharing little bits of emotion what I'm feeling and how I'm dealing with things I'm in a better place now but I still have a lot to do emotionally and uh, in my day-to-day -day life because um when it happens, it just felt like, and it still feels like I've lost a huge part of myself. It's like she took like a huge part of my of me with her. So I'm still trying to, I'm just trying to pick up the pieces and just carry on. And uh, one of the main things that's keeping me going or the main person that's keeping me going is my son and because I've, I've just found myself in I found myself in a very dark place and I've reached a very low level of myself and I could I could have done anything you know nothing mattered to me at the time and I had to find a reason to get back up. I had to find a reason to stay. Something that was more important than myself because at that point, um, even I didn't matter. I didn't care for myself. I didn't want to be here anymore. So um, it's just the thought and the feeling that I had in that time when things were quite fresh and uh, it's, I don't even want wanna wanna go back to that time just yet. I don't. I'm still trying to protect myself and protect my feelings because every time I try to like relieve stuff, it's hard for me to like get myself together again. And even you, you know, he can literally affect literally my whole day, or even it can even take me like days or 
to like get back to my my own self. So um, it's been quite hard, and it's just something that I've never felt before. I mean, I feel like I've gone through a lot of things in my life, and if I sit down and tell you about my personal story, you will literally you wouldn't believe me. Maybe but I feel like I only show like the highlights. You know, me sharing what I bought, being all superficial. You might know think that I go through things that normal people go through, but I'm just a regular person and I go through a lot. <laughs> I've been going through a lot and uh, it's just part of the human experience. And uh, yeah, so um, I have a strong character. That's what I like to think. And people tend to think that I'm quite strong as an individual, which I can find it's like a double-edged sword sometimes because um, you it's hard for me to show my emotions and to feel things straight away. But when I feel the stuff, trust me, it's very deep, very, very deep. And, yeah, so with my mom's situation, um, my son's been helping me a lot. And I feel like things happen for a reason in life, you know. I'm a single mom. And uh, I've made the decision to be a single mom. And it hasn't been the easiest, you know, you know, looking after a child by yourself and working full time, doing everything. It's not easy. But I made the decision and um, it's bringing me more than what I've done for him. It's just I love him so much. I love him so much and I could literally do anything for him. So he's my the reason why I keep going. He's the reason why I'm finding myself again. And I know it's going to take time, but I know that I'm going to get there eventually. And uh, life is for the living. Never give up. Never give up. Even when you feel like there's no hope. Just... Don't be too hard on yourself. Take some time. Take time to like really go through your emotions, go through what you're living and then try and get yourself together and keep on going, you know, because honestly, guys, I'm in such a better place right now that I feel like life is worth it. It's all worth it. It's worth living and there's so much more that, I still need to like live through and be happy about. And um, the two, th two things that mom has really taught me and what I still, what she's left as a legacy is being humble and being loving. So I try to live by these two things. I try my best at least to be humble and to like, care about people be more compassionate and loving so and this has been helping me so much I have a strong character and sometimes people might even think that you know I have a, a bit of an attitude or something like that sometimes I can come across a bit overconfident but I'm very easy I'm an easy going easy person easy to talk to easy to approach and I'm actually a bit shy at, fir at first so yeah um it's very important to be humble in life, no matter what you're going through, you know, whether you're the richest person out there. If you're not humble, there's no point. There's no point. There's no substance in you as an individual. You need to be humble and loving. You should value people around you and uh, make the most of every second that you have with your loved ones, whether it's your friends, your children, your parents, your cousin, your nephews, everyone around you that you care for, honestly, show them how much you love them. And I wish I could go back in time. I really wish that I could. I have so much that I wanted to tell mom that I can still tell her because I don't, I still haven't accepted I can't seem to really accept that she's, I won't be able to physically see her, but I just, there's just so much that I wanted to tell her. And 
I felt like I've wasted the opportunity to show, really show her. Even though I know she knows, you know, we have a really close relationship with her. She's just literally, she's, she's my whole life, literally. She's the best mom someone can ever have. Such a loving woman, very caring and very compassionate and humble woman. So, She's just like, she's my true love. So my parents are just so precious to me. And they're just the definition of love, unconditional love. And it's, it's crazy to think that, we tend to think that they will never, they will never leave this world actually. And but when this happened, guys, honestly, it's hard, it's really hard. Just value each second that you have with your loved ones and don't take people for granted, guys. I know it's easy to say, but honestly, when you experience what I've experienced, you will definitely understand that. But I hope that you still have your parents and you're, you're able to show them the love that you have for them, not just your parents. You know, I know everyone's got different relationships with their parents, but if there's like a little bit of hope out there for you to get back to that loving state, just grab that opportunity. Don't, you know, leave, leave for regret. Don't, I don't want you to regret later on the way I've been regretting, even though, I know, I know she, she knows how much I love her, but there's just so much more. Let me know if you like sit down videos like that, where I literally share about real life um, experience and stuff. And uh, yeah, I've been, if you're asking me now, yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. I mean, I'm still dealing with the grief and stuff, but I'm actually in a better place and I'm very grateful. Gratitude is something that I live through every morning every night i feel very grateful for everything for my life everything i have going on and for the future and i try to enjoy my present um a bit more than before because honestly anything can happen at any time your life can literally change in a second and um, being grateful is very good to and you need you literally to appreciate your life and uh what you have, even if you're struggling, even if you feel like there's no hope, honestly, there's always hope and try and find reason to get back up. You know, life is worth living and there's so much to experience out there, literally so much. And uh, one of the things I really want to do from next year is to travel more, do like go out and live life and experience stuff a bit more and not waste the time I have. And uh, obviously I need to also have, spend more time with myself and um, relax and enjoy myself. So yeah, guys, I hope that you're having a lovely time and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you like this content, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah. Share your experience. What do you think? If you have any feedback, anything you want to share with us, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself, guys, and take care of everyone around you. Bye. Mommy.